Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I uh, just wanted to say thank you for um, everyone that subscribed to our channel. And uh, I just want to make this uh, short video just to um, answer those comments that we got from one of our video that I uploaded four weeks ago, which now have 45,000 views. Thank you so much for that, guys. And um. Well, thank you for those comments. And actually, I've been reading these comments here. It's kind of a mixed comment. Some are happy about it. Some are actually seems like they um, they agree because they probably have this experience about love and lies, the type um, prostitutes or Thai freelancers tell to everyone or foreigners that they meet here. So if you guys are planning to come over here in Thailand that um wanted to find let's say about maybe true love or if you wanted to find a girl that will stick with you be loyal with you and uh, will stay with you no matter what just to be uh, like an honest opinion for me as um as an expat that live here in thailand based on my experiences working with these thai people when i used to work in a resort with bar I have like real life story experience with them how they treat their man like all those lies all those like same story that they telling to people or like to their boyfriends and their partners you know um let me just start by reading this some of the comment here so and uh, let me just give my honest opinion about it Thanks for this nice, nice comment. And not really nice. I don't know how can I say this, but yeah, let me just read, read this. So one of them says, "If you don't care, been here for 30 years, and can easily add more lies to the list. But in the end of it, it's all about money transactions. You get what you want, and the other end what they want. We we never go into any relation or commitment that you can't handle." that's really that's true that's true so i agree to that because if you're here of course especially for those first timers um come here try to find a girl well for sure you'll be really spending a lot of money though um thai women actually they're kind of for me it's an experience like seeing them they're really demanding most of them they really will ask their guy or their man to buy them a lot of a lot of stuff so, you know um so they will say a lot of lies and these sweet words to this man and there is one word that i always hear every one of them like everyone like each one of the thai ladies that i have met all of them always say to their man i will protect you okay they always say that so, but yeah, according to this one comment here, he can add more. That's so true. It's not, it's not just Thai ladies in the way, even in Philippines. He's a Filipina, you know, of course. There are a lot of flies too, but on this video, it's uh, I live in Thailand and I'm going to say or give my honest opinion about what's going on around here, about how these Thai girls um, treat the men or how they are. So if you really wanted to have a good relationship or I mean long-term relationship with them, um so many actually most of the friends or foreigners or customers that went there in the resort and bar that i used to work majority of them actually having the same issues same heartache and bad experience with their girls so um yeah and then the other comment here it says solid information the first thai girl i met had five sponsors and was going to Australia to get married and she kept all the hidden and still tried to rinse me. That is heartbreaking. So you know it's it's sad. But yeah, I'm like bro, oh, you're you're not alone. A lot of you guys have that kind of experience. So yeah, <laughs> one of somebody says he or see he gave a list of eleven lies. So on and so forth said so girl says here you have the biggest I've seen, you're the most handsome guy I've met. You have the biggest <laughs> I don't do this anymore, you are the first one. 
you last longer than anyone I've ever been with. I love you. Trust me. Yeah, they always say that. Trust me, I will protect you. They always say that word. So, you know what, guys? The reason why I can say this is, as I mentioned, I used to work, you know, one of the resorts somewhere in Jongjian. Um, if you can see in my old videos, I always put videos before that I am in Jongjian. So, that resort, I work as a receptionist. Others are doing daytime and I work as a bartender and cashier at night time. So a lot of them it's like same a lot of same stories and I can I can hear it. I can hear what's going on and um the conversation that they have. It's like just in the bar where I make drinks and then people just are just sitting right now far away from me. I always hear those kind of conversations. And you know, they go there together. After a few days, foreigner go, a few days later on, same type girl come over. So yeah, um, a lot, like, I always hear those conversations, of course, like for the bar, I'm, I'm working like I'm making drinks. It's a bartender, just not far away from me, so I can always hear those conversations. Yeah, and um, sometimes I get tired of hearing those shit, sorry, excuse my language, I and mean, hearing those words, because I know like, after this guy go, Man, like you won't believe it. They're just gonna come over in in the place in the bar, all different guys, and it's just like it really breaks my heart. For me, like just an honest honest opinion. I don't think they know about commitment. I don't think they they wanna treasure someone or like somebody. Even though somebody will really want to save them or give them a new life because a lot of parkour staff actually work there some of them they have like this serious man already but i still can't i still can't believe it that they still prefer to work in a bar and just be a bar girl even though there's somebody like really willing to give them bring in bring them or brought them to their country try to give them you know a new life just to change well, yeah, when I was there, actually, I was curious. I was asking one of the uh, bar girl why she's still doing that, like, on the page. Believe it or not, she's already, like, more than 15. 51 something years old. I asked her why. I mean, I mean, it's not my, my, it's not my business, but I'm just curious why. So what I can say or what I can see is, I think, you know, it's just, it's just, their choice they just want to do that for the sake of money or they just not happy the money that they're getting like there's not enough for them that's what i can see you know so yeah i have a lot of bad experience on that place so if you notice i don't do any videos on that place i used to work anymore and i'm gonna tell you later about it but yeah it's an unhappy experience. Yeah. It was okay at first, but you know, later on, <clears throat> for me, it turns into nightmare. Especially, I um, I feel so discriminated working with Thai people. As a Filipina, you know, they just can't accept me. I can do what they do, so that's what I felt. So I have no choice. I have to leave. And um. So yeah, those are like the, about those 11 lies that I uploaded. The comment there, it's not just 11 lies. There are a lot. And also like, if, if you guys are trying to search about what's going on in Thailand, if you can see some, a lot of actually foreigners here, they invest some money. You know, of course you can make a business here without Thai partners. They invest money, make a business and then later on, about a month or two or a few months later on they just get a kick out by their Thai partners which is a sad story so a lot of foreigners um, sadly say but they do suicide it's a real thing man it's it's real shit I mean I don't want I don't want any of my friend to have that kind of experience because I have a lot of friends that have a Thai or, or a girlfriend from Laos actually even the girl from Laos they just say like yeah it's different because they're Laos but no I have two friends already that also have a bad experience with Laos girl so <clears throat> just be careful guys I know if you're so like these girls are really they are they are hot like wow 
just just be careful um you know if, when you see them you really can say no so if you're just gonna come here to have fun then yeah pataya is a place for you so like some memes that i have seen in facebook or like some posts it says uh, good boys go to heaven bad boys go to pataya <laughs> Not really, I mean, you just if you guys just want to have fun, like they don't it's just like short term vacation here, just be ready, you know, like the cost of, of a tag or like a freelance or a bar girl. If you go in a bar and you want to take somebody with you, you have to pay for a bar fine, they call it bar fine, some like 400 500, so depends, depends on the age, I guess, and depends on the area. So, like, in that place where I used to work, the bar calls, um. They, they'll be charged you said 400 for bar fine and then it's up to you how much you'll pay for extra so but i mean damn guys they're, <laughs> they're freaking old <coughs> so if yeah if, if you're just gonna have fun here if you if you don't care about your money your spare money then yeah this is the place for you you're not gonna regret it you really have fun but if you're looking for true love or serious relationship and taking your chances and if you're thinking that you're kind of a superman that you can save somebody or a Thai lady by changing the way they are like taking them out from the bar and then support them be their sponsor send them money where while you're back home it's it's a big no no it's a so guys my suggestion is if you really wanted to have a Thai wife uh, or Thai girlfriend for long term relationship, Pattaya is not the best place for you to find, you know, just to be honest. Um, you can try some online date, but if you're just gonna meet them here in Pattaya or they're working bar, if you want, I can suggest if you really wanna change them, if you try to be a hero or if you feel like you'll be a superman if you can change these girls. Take them with you wherever you are, or you can leave with them here and just make sure that they won't work in a bar or massage parlor. Like I have a bet like a best friend of mine. He had a girlfriend. She's not Thai, she's from Laos. He had a very good heart. Like he's a very good man. But at the end of the day. Oh my god. This girl is just like still broke his heart. I have actually two friends now. The other guy, the other man is also a friend of mine. Also a girl from now. So guys, it's just it's not just Thai girls. Even girls from Laos that works here. If they works in a bar and you're trying to change them. If you'll be living away from them, or if you live with them but you let them work in a bar or in a massage parlor, thinking that you still can trust them that they're not gonna do this they're not gonna do that they're just gonna be with just no like big f no do not trust that they're not gonna do this great i mean they're not gonna do they're not gonna spit you because they will like in my experience all those thai that i have met they are big f liar no oh my god i should stop talking i should stop talking now i'm gonna tell more about later about that, my, my experience and that these guys like how how bad <laughs> no i just don't want to ruin my morning it's time to sleep now okay well thank you again guys i hope um you'll be watching my videos our videos i'll be uploading more and i'll be telling my stories more later on and see you on the next video bye